Hey, what's up everybody? Too Tall Toby here. And last week I got to sit down and ask some questions to each of our final four runners in the 2023 World Championship of 3D CAD Speed Modeling. Let's see what they had to say. Let's start out by learning a little bit about you. What is your name and where are you from? My name is Aaron, unofficially Aaron C. I'm a mechanical engineer and I'm from the Midwest United States, but now I live out on the East Coast. My name is Amants. I am a student at the University of Washington in Seattle, and I've been I've born and raised here in Seattle, Washington. I'm Ivan Lowen. I'm from Alberta, Canada. Proud member of the Troop North. I'm a, I'm a CAD user. I'm a draftsman by trade, draftsman designer. I'm Victor K. I'm from the Pacific Northwest of the United States. Currently, I'm working for a 3D scanning reseller. When did you first start using 3D CAD, and how do you use it at your job today? So I use CAD very differently than I started. I first picked up CAD with SketchUp when I was literally 12 years old. I just wanted to draw houses like giant mansions and log cabins and stuff. And I did that for a long time, I actually still do that. And then in my freshman year of engineering school, I learned SolidWorks, which was a brutal transition for me because they're not similar to each other at all. And now I use it professionally in my job as a mechanical engineer. I do a lot of milled parts, turned parts, and the occasional sheet metal. I started messing around in SketchUp when I was in second grade on my mom's work computer. Then I really got into it my freshman year of high school. So that's five years ago now. Now I work for Onshape and an engineering startup, and I'm the mechanical lead on the underwater robotics team at my university. I uh, started using CAD when I took a drafting design course in college. That was back in 2003, I think. Kind of makes me uh, sound old, but um, I've been using it for a long time, and I use it now every day. It's it's my job, designing parts. I first started using CAD in high school when we got a 3D printer just dropped off in our computer lab, and I'm like, I need to learn everything about this. So I picked up a free seat of Autodesk Inventor, and shortly thereafter, got an internship using SolidWorks for a 3D printing company. It all took off from there. How did you first hear about Too Tall Toby's World Championship of 3D CAD speed modeling? And what made you want to get involved? So I first heard about it with this like really clickbaity looking post on Reddit. I don't know why I needed to click on it, but I did. And then I just fell into the rabbit hole from there. Um, maybe it was the synth wave graphics that drew me in. Once I started watching the tournament from last year, I followed along with it and I actually did pretty decent against a lot of the people and I made it pretty far in, in my virtual bracket. And I was like, you know what? I think I have a shot at this. So I I gave it a chance. My older brother, Almus, his handle is Auxiliary Moose, competed a couple of times in the past. So he competed in the 2020 3D CAD modeling speedrun tournament, as well as he winning the 2022 tournament last year. And so that's what really inspired me to take it up this year is seeing him do well, represent Onshape in a cool way. And so I just got inspired and wanted to follow in, follow in his footsteps. I, I don't know, I can't hardly remember specifically like the time and place, but it was literally from the beginning. I was part of the first one, very proud to say that. I think it would have probably spun out of your Model Monday Live episodes. I remember seeing that probably just, I, I mean, I would have been aware of your channel online, uh, connections to you and your presentations, maybe through the forums, just as a, you know, SolidWorks expert, someone that you want to follow. I started watching the Model Monday Live episodes and just started participating, like model up the part, enter my answer, be a part of it. And it was fun right from the start. Like it was addicting. That's where it started. So I can't remember how I first heard about the channel itself. I heard about the championship during a Model Monday live stream, um, which I'd been attending for a while then. And Model Monday was so much fun that I wanted to see if I could do it competitively. 